Hey guys, Doug here, how's it going? Just gonna do a quick little video for you because I'm about to dye some wheels tonight. So I've got some tribute wheels here by J Concepts, these uh, neon yellow ones, and I'm wanting these to match my new body that I'm doing for one of my trucks, the Chevy Snoop Nose, which is the darker yellow here. And uh, obviously these yellows aren't the same. So I'm going to use Rit dye to try and get these to match the color. Now just FYI, I would have rather used white, but yellow was all they had in stock, so I'm kind of rolling with it. Generally the rule with dyeable parts is you can typically go darker. So the yellow I'm wanting, here is darker than this. So I'm gonna use the RIT dye, let's get to it. Okay guys, now here's what I'm gonna be using, some RIT dye. Now this clothing dye is available at, at various stores, like I know Walmart has it, some grocery stores. I got mine from Michael's. The reason I use Michael's craft stores is because they have uh, normally a pretty large selection of it, so you can have access to more colors. Now as far as actual pigments, you don't have to be dead on um, with a certain pigment to get the pigment you want because the length of time that it stays inside the pot boiling um, helps darken the color. Now outside of this RIT dye you are going to need a pot and a stove you know to boil the water. It's also a good idea to not wear clothes that you'll be afraid of ruining just in case there's some splashing out um, of the dye because it does get on clothes obviously and, and stain. That's the whole purpose of what the dye is. So also I know we've got a bunch of youngsters that watch this channel. Please 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 do not try this without the help of your parent or just let your parent do it for you. Just a disclaimer there. Okay now you're gonna dump the dye in here and let it settle around. The water is still heating up. Make sure that you use a pan that you aren't afraid of ruining, just FYI. I generally have a, a dye pan that I do just for this. You're gonna wanna stir the dye around here. Just make sure it mixes while it heats up. Now before it starts boiling, put your parts in. Now if they float, that's okay because when it starts boiling, the density is going to change and they will sink to the bottom. At least that's always happened for me. The parts have always sink. So as you can see here now, the water's boiling. The parts are in there and they're taking the dye. Now, how dark it gets, it really depends on the time that you let it boil. For black stuff, I'll leave it in there sometimes, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, depending, just to make sure it's good and black. But if you want to get a color pigment, you do have to watch it. And be aware also that whenever you pull it out to check on the, you know, what the color is, when it dries, it's going to darken slightly. So you typically want to keep it on the lighter side just to allow it to uh, darken up a little bit. You can always put it back in if it's too light. But if you get it too dark, it's stuck that way. Now we're right at 20 minutes, it's about perfect, so I'm going to pull it all out, drain the pan, and get the parts. Alright guys, and here's the final result as you can see here. These are pretty close to what the uh, the body color is. Not exact, but it looks close enough outside of natural lighting actually. So, uh, And again, these won't ship like paint will or have some of the other negatives associated with it. Um, by the way, my planetaries are black here, I just painted those black. I found that the planetaries, it's just easier to paint the actual color. Uh, if you are dyeing them, I guess, if you have a dye bucket already set up, with the color you need, why not put them in, I suppose, but I didn't, so instead of using black dye as well, I just wanted to paint them, so. So yeah, guys, you can follow this process and pretty much do uh, dye anything that you want, um, you know, as far as dyeable RC plastic parts go. Uh, just be aware, again, that the rule is typically that you can go darker and not lighter, so. And you never know what you'll come up with, so you know what? Try it. Worst case, you can always paint it, which is probably what you were gonna have to do anyways. That's kind of what uh, my, you know, my idea was with these, so I'm glad they turned out. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.